Hi, this is Anne from Connors Clinic, and in this video, we're going to walk you through how to use the computer. So when you get your box that contains all of the Rife equipment, the computer is one piece of that equipment. So the computer is a laptop. It might not look exactly like the one that I have in front of me, but it's going to look similar and the functionality is going to be the same. So there's obviously going to be a um, charging port for the computer. So you might have the port on the right side or the left side, so you'll just have to look to see where the power plug-in spot is. And then you're going to want to have the, um, the cord plugged into your surge protector. So we'll just get that plugged in. All right, so once it is the computer is plugged in, you're just going to open up the computer, and then you're going to want to power the computer on. So the power button on this version of the laptop is right here. Sometimes it might be in the upper right side, sometimes it might be on either side here. So you'll have to locate the power button and then you just hold it down for a couple seconds and the computer screen should turn on like that. Now this is the trackpad. Um, so in order to move the cursor, you're just dragging your finger along this trackpad and you can see that the cursor is moving. So if you just tap anywhere on the screen, it should bring you to this sign in page. So you just tap on this sign in button. So on this trackpad, you can just tap on the middle or we have these right and left click buttons here. Not all of the trackpads are gonna have these buttons, uh, distinguished buttons, um, but the trackpad you can just click on and that will work as a clicker. So one thing you'll want to note about the trackpad is right clicking and left clicking. So you can see on this trackpad, there's distinct buttons to indicate a right click or a left click. Not all of the trackpads have those. Sometimes you'll just have to right click in the lower right corner of the trackpad. But on this computer, we have these distinct buttons. So the, um, you have to select whatever you, the left click button is to select something. So right now I have this hovered over John Doe and I'm left clicking on this left button. And you can see it puts a little check mark there or sometimes it's just gonna highlight what you've selected. You can use the left buttons upper or lower on, on this trackpad. Um, the right button is to bring up another menu option where you can copy and paste. So I just right clicked there and we have this so you can copy so in the event that you are getting new files that you want to upload to your true rife uh, frequencies the program um, we will give you instructions but this is just an example of why you would be right clicking you're right clicking to copy um, and then uh, you select with the left side so you've right clicked to open up this menu and then you want to select copy and so you left click on copy and then you would hit on the documents tab you're left clicking to select this and now you are going to left click again on this so that it's we're highlighting this and we're going to right click to bring up that menu again and then we want to paste so we're hovering over paste and then we're going to left click to select it and that pastes the new programs into the True Rife folder. Now, if your programs are named the same thing, it may ask you if you want the uh, new files to overwrite the old files. That is fine. Sometimes we're naming the new program something different, so it's not going to erase the old files. It's just going to make a new file with the new programs. Um, and so that's an example of when you would want to use a right click to copy or paste left click is always to select whatever you're hovering over or what you have highlighted. So I hope that helps clarify the trackpad for people. Another thing that you can do if the trackpad is confusing and you're used to using a mouse, you can plug a mouse into the USB drive here um, and then you can use the mouse to navigate the computer screen. So you don't have to use the trackpad. Um, so that's an option as well. The uh, computer uh, has the videos. So these are the instructional videos that will walk you through setting up the Rife machine, setting up the Ion Pro Wave. Um, there's also some educational videos on there that you'll wanna watch. 
And then this over here is the True Rife icon. So that's what you're going to be clicking into in order to get your programs loaded and uh, running. So when you receive your computer, we are putting it in airplane mode. You can see there's a little icon down here that looks like an airplane. And so you don't need internet to run any of your Rife programs. You don't need to do any software updates or virus, install any virus protection. Really, you're just using this computer to run your Rife programs and you don't need internet. So you can keep it on airplane mode. The only time you would maybe connect to Wi-Fi would be a couple, maybe three times a year if you want to update the general programs that are provided by True Rife. So you would connect to your Wi-Fi by clicking on that little airplane and then there's this Wi-Fi button here. You would just click on that and then turn uh, or put your password in to connect to your Wi-Fi. And then we'll show you how to update the Rife frequencies in the Rife training video but that's how you connect to Wi-Fi. Um, back to the power button. So it is good maybe one time a week, if you can pick a day of the week, maybe Sunday morning, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna completely power down the computer. It just helps to kind of reset things and prevent any miscommunications between the Rife and the computer if you're completely powering the computer down um, every so often. So pick a day of the week where it's convenient and then power down the Rife machine. You can do that by holding this power button down. So if you just tap it, it's going to put it into sleep mode, and you certainly can obviously close the computer. But we want to do a full power down of the computer so it resets. So I'm just waking it back up. It was sleeping. Now if I want to do a complete power down, I can either put my cursor over here and highlight over the little windows icon and click on it and I can hit this little uh, circle with a line through it button that says power so I can hit that and I can do a shutdown and that will power down the computer or you can just hold this power button down for a good you know 15 seconds until the power is completely down and then um, then you can give it 30 seconds and then start it back up again and that should reset the computer. One thing you'll notice on the side of your computer here is these USB ports. So you have one, typically they'll have one on either side. So there's one on this side, there's also one on the other side. Um, that you'll be using a USB cord to run from your computer to the Rife machine. And then also if there's any time where you're receiving a flash drive from us with update, updated programs or changes to your programs, the flash drive will plug into this USB port and there'll be instructions provided on how to install those new programs.